not stay with my friend. I just was crying, like, and I would listen to Scissors um album all the time and get so fucking emotional because i felt like i was going through these growing pains and like it was so real especially her song 20 something i was like girl 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 that's exactly how i was feeling i'm like i was so brave to move here my plans didn't work out and so i'm just feeling like super horrified so there was a time where it was like the last day and I was like, I can't take no more um, living in this hostel. I was looking for apartments, so don't think I was just there. But I also was working. Like, I had a job and I was living there and trying to find somewhere to live. It was just a mess. And some of my clothes were stolen. Like, I'm still mad about my Adidas pants being stolen because I have not replaced them. And I got a good deal for $10 on them brand new pants. So, I've been mad ever since. Okay? So, anyways... Um, the last day was a dude staring at the window and I was like, what's up? He was like, it's just life. You know, I just got out of jail and you know, I'm feeling, and I'm like, oh my God. Like, I just got really nervous. Cause I'm like, I don't know nothing. And I'm living with somebody who just got out of jail and like all these different people. And it was a lot. So I ended up subleasing an apartment for a month in hollywood and i stayed there for about a week and then my homegirl called me like yo i'm gonna move to la i got this audition i'm gonna see what happens can i stay with you so i'm like yeah girl that's cool so i really only stayed there for like a week before I, she stayed there and as soon as she came with me i ended up leaving like after a month because it was just so expensive so i ended up finding an apartment like in south central and it was on for all my friends who are familiar with la it was on 54th in Arlington, like in the cusps of the 60s. I ain't know nothing about no nothing gang, who, what, when, but that's where it was. And honestly, nothing really happened over there, but it was hood and you had to be aware that it was the hood and what was popping. Like if you lived in the hood, you know, imagine going to a different hood. So I end up after I was at this different hood, uh, different hood. After I was living there for like a year, one of the roommates that was there, like the first eight months I was there, so it was a townhouse. I stayed on the bottom. I was the only one at the bottom. They stayed at the top. She was a B I T C H. And she was taking out all of her frustrations on me she couldn't find a job she couldn't do this all of these different things she had a job then she didn't have a job then she had a job then she was stripping then she didn't have a job she was just a mess and then she was pimping niggas it was a lot going on and she confessed to me and told me and like i think the fact that i wasn't like yeah girl oh my god that's crazy like oh my god do your thing i think she just felt that energy of like me being like "Ooh, your lifestyle is not the one i want to be involved in and like me gaining space from her she just would be rude all the time and so she ended up leaving um and as she was leaving i wasn't home that day she took we would argue so it wasn't like i argued with her about three times because i couldn't take it anymore her disrespect her tones her attitude i couldn't take it and um so i cussed her out one good time because i had i get up and i know she did this on purpose she don't have no job i get up every day for my job i got up at 5 30 a.m to take a shower and get ready for work it's 5 30 a.m this bitch is taking a bath not a shower, not a quick, a bath. I was like, well, I have to get ready for it. It's like she wanted to ignite me. And that's how I felt in the moment. I don't, if it's not true, it's not. But I really believe that's what it was. So I ended up letting her have it. Whatever. So when she left, tell me why she took all of my food. I'm a vegetarian. She took all my food. I don't know if she threw it away. She took it with her, but she took it. Like, what a bitch, right? And I'm sorry to keep cursing, but that hoe. And I usually don't like to be disrespectful towards women, women empowerment, but like she came for me. So I had to sit for her, period, 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 basically. So that happened. Then a few months went past and it was time to renew the lease. And 
I was like, I don't know, I want to do it. Landlord said you could just do it month to month. My roommates was like, um, we want to know when you're leaving because we want to actually move our mom in. I'm like, mom? It's so funny. Do y'all hear the song that's playing? This is, um, uh, New Apartment by Ari Lennox. And it's just funny because I'm about to get into how I came to be where I'm at right now. So, um, I was like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. I wasn't planning on going anywhere. I told y'all that before because we did have a conversation about it a few months before that. So, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So, what are we talking about again? Oh, yeah. So, they're trying to get me to get out. And I was like, nah, basically. I'm going to do the month to month. So, they was like, Saudi. Um, because they want to move their mom in. I can't even. So, one day, I literally stayed the night of my friends. Or no. I think I was at the stoop. I don't know. I wasn't home. I didn't come home that day. And I come home and all of my things are packed from the bathroom and the kitchen in a box. And there's nasty text messages going back and forth because at this because when I get home, nobody's home. All my stuff is packed and nobody's home. And the only reason I came home was to take a shower and put some clothes on because I had just, I was taking classes at LACC and I just got out of class and I only came home to take a shower and get some clothes. My friend was taking some headshots of me. And then after that, I was going to an audition. So I'm like, uh, I just, okay. So I immediately start going off. I call all of my friends, like all of my girlfriends, like ready, ready for war. You feel me? And nobody answered the phone. So I'm like, I start crying because when I'm angry, I just be like, oh, because I'm really trying to be a better person. You feel me? And when you on that path of just trying to just gain your gain your calmness and your maturity and your emotions, and it, it just hurts so bad to just do it. I just started crying. So I called my brother. And I'm like, gee. Da, da, da. I explained what happened. He mad. Then I'm like, I just want to fuck some bitches. So I do. I'm on the bus. I'm on a public bus. And I'm like beating on the bus window as I'm screaming. So I look like a crazy person on drugs. So I'm like, I just want to be a better person. Like going off. Got the kick kicked off the bus, basically. So, um... As I'm doing all of that, uh, I hang up with my brother because I was like, you know what? I need to breathe because you gave me hype. And I said, I'm going to call my other friend. So I call my homeboy. Team calmed me down. I already knew what he was going to be on. So I said, let me call the right one. So I call him. He don't answer. So I call our mutual friend because I knew that they were together. So I called and... I just, I'm crying on the phone. I'm like, <laughs> and he like, gee, just call the landlord. You got to make a police report. You you know what I mean? They touching your stuff. Da, da, da. So I'm like, all right, cool. And he's like, a matter of fact, just get yourself together. Like being somebody up ain't going to do nothing. You got things to do. So get yourself together. You got to go see your audition. Be quiet. Focus on that and keep your, your strength in that. So I'll get there. All my other homegirls start calling me back. They like, all right, we fighting. It's so blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, like, whoa, universe. Imagine if I talked to them first. Because it would have been me and the squad ready for war. You feel me? And he, like a sensible man that he was, he said, you know, calm down, chill. My mom was even like, calm down, chill. So here I was. I'm like, all right, cool. I got my homeboy who who on level one and trying to get me to come with him. My homegirl's on level 10. So at this point, I'm about a level five. So I'm still mad. But I go to my audition. My homegirl picks me up. She mad. We end up going back to the house before we made a police report so I could pack my stuff. I get there back to the house. And my stuff at this point. Because, ooh, when I came back home, I put all my stuff back. 
And I sent the text message like, I put all my stuff back. Don't touch my stuff. I'm not planning on touching your items. Do not touch my items. Woo woo. Leave me alone. I'll never bother y'all. I'm real polite in these text messages. I don't know why, but I'm team polite. Even though I'm hype, I'm team polite in the text. Because I'm not trying to show them that they got my energy. I'm really not. So, I guess that makes them mad because I get home. Everything that I put back, broken in front of my door. Just glass broken everywhere. So, I call the police.